Okay, welcome to another three-point edit mini tutorial for the VSE. This time we'll have a look at tracking and stabilizing. I'll just swap over to the video editor. This time I've got the file viewer open here. So go down to file browser, sorry, file browser, and I can have a look for all the shots that I would like to use. I can drag one of those, sadly only one at a time, onto the timeline. Place it down there. I might press Shift S and snap it back to the start. I'll play this clip through. You can see that it's a dolly shot and it's not a very good dolly shot. Press the back of these people. Okay, so oh it's the whole track, the whole clip. So <clears throat> that's that shot on the timeline. Now what I would like to do is use this shot in the tracker to stabilize the vision on the timeline. Let's pop up to the tracker, which is new to Blender, and it's not available. Where is it? I'll have a look here. No, that's not the right clip number. I'm looking for a different clip number. Let's have a look what the number is. So if we look at the file name, it's 79995. I'll pop back to the tracker, and the one that I had left over from another tracking job was 7999. Now I could go and open that if I wanted to, or I could come to here and use the plugin, the very cool new plugin, if we go up to user preferences, sorry, the add-on add -on, I should call it, not a plugin. Go to the add-on, have a look what I'm running. It's called Sequencer Extra Sequencer Actions, and it has a whole wonderful load of uh, new tools for um, not just the VSE but throughout the throughout Blender. It's very useful. So anyway, one of the options that it gives me is this open active strip. So if I have a strip activated in the VSE like I have, go down here, I highlight that, clicking on it, right clicking on it, we pop back to the tracker, we go clip, oops, open active strip, there it is brings it in, attaches it, now it becomes a movie strip and you can use that in the compositor or uh, for tracking as we shall see. So I'll take that back to the start. So we've selected the uh, clip, open the strip in the uh, tracker and we'll attach some tracking markers. So we will make sure we are in tracking mode. Just drag that and center up the screen a little bit, middle click. And let me see, we'll toggle down the add marker, grabbing a marker, I might put a marker, it has to be a reasonable high contrast zone, but I don't want to be obstructed by any of these people moving through frames, so I'll try clicking in there, have to scroll up and have a look at the feature, looks pretty good, I'll just G from drag this across a little bit, put it in the middle of the feature, S to scale it up marginally, there we go. And I might put another, so that we might use for a stabilizing point. I'll put another marker down here for our rotation. Let me see over on the other bollard, in the middle of the shape. S to scale it just a little bit. Okay, so for A to select both those trackers, we're at the start. Now we scroll down and we go to the track menu and the play forward button is track selected markers. So what we'll see now is the frames advancing and these markers now will uh, be searching for those shapes underneath and you can see a trail of uh, keyframes moving out after them. So I'll let that go now and maybe we'll come back in a moment when it's finished tracking. Okay we've nearly completed tracking for that shot. Unfortunately one of the tracks actually ducked out of frame at the end, so but rather than do it all again, we'll just make do with those two tracks. They're pretty good. So that has completed those tracks. We'll now pop over to Reconstruction, and the Reconstruction allows another tool called 2D Stabilization. We'll pick the that marker, A to drop all of them, right mouse click on the one I want, I'll pick the marker that's actually in frame for the whole time for stabilize, so I'll turn that on, so that's track 001, and turn on auto scale, and ooh, turn 
select the other track, and we'll turn on Stabilize Rotate, and that's track number one. Turn on Auto Scale. That's offsetting to stabilize. As you can see, it's stabilizing to the center of frame for the pan. Now we've turned off the location influence, so it won't will no longer be locked to, to one point in space. However, we are um, stabilizing and rotating the picture according to how these uh, two uh, track markers vary in space. Now that's very helpful to have that in the tracker. Of course, we want it in our video editing editor uh, application VC. So we come back here and go add, go down to clip. And now you can see the clip is available. So shift S to snap that over the top of our other clip. And now this is the stabilized version. You can see that as it plays, it's not stabilized. But now we have another property available to us over here in the properties panel, which we pressed N to appear. Oops, N, make it appear. Uh, not input, not filter, not that. Strip. Right mouse click to make it active, that would help. Strip input. Hmm. Ah, here it is. Under filter. Stabilize. There we go. If I scroll through, you can see it's a lot more stable <laughs> than it was before. And I can demonstrate that by dissolving back to the, the unstabilized shot below. You can see that it's zoomed up the shot to take out some of the movement. Come further around, try the same thing. So you can see where it's zoomed up is where all the rotation and movement was taking place, and now it's removed that. Now, I'm not seeing that very clearly. What would be really wonderful here is to be able to proxy that. So I'll just save so Blender doesn't lose everything. And I will turn on proxy. Let's see. Oh. It would seem that there's no proxy available. Strip input. Hmm, no proxies available for this type of strip. So what I can do is Control G to make meta strip, and I can turn on proxy for the meta strip. Now I've discovered that what I really want to do is turn on cu proxy custom directory, not cu pro proxy custom file. Turn that on. Point it back at where it came from. I might point it at, yes, point it back at its source, accept, save it again, Oops. come down to strip, highlight the strip, and go to rebuild proxy and time code indices. And now it's building the proxy in the meta strip. Oh. There we go, it's almost complete. Done. Let's have a quick look at our proxy. <gasps> now, proxy doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's because we're not looking at the proxy. We're still looking at scene render size. We need to select a proxy size. Press 25. There we go, the resolution has dropped.
But I should be able to get a nice smooth pull. It's probably stuttering because I've got the recorder going. So, I can turn on proxy for the strip at the bottom. So, the original camera strip, I can turn on proxy for that. Also 25%. I'll turn on custom proxy file, um, proxy custom file, not proxy custom directory. Remember that's for scene strips and meta strips. So proxy custom files for camera, camera material. And it should go to its source location. So wherever the media came from originally, it will create um, separate folders in there for the proxies. And I will generate a proxy from that. Rebuild proxy. This should go a bit more quickly because it's not, of course, generating the effect that was built into the meta strip. So it's not rendering that effect at the same time. It's much, much quicker. All right. Oops. What I might do to demonstrate this is grab that, constrain that to the Y so it only goes up. Pull it down here. We might select both of those. It's very wobbly. To illustrate the point, whoops, we'll go uh, add uh, an effect. I'll go for a wipe. Okay, so I've added a wipe between my meta strip stabilized shot and my regular wobbly shot, which looks very wobbly. Uh, so now, go to the wipe. I've turned off default fade, so I can put this wipe in the shot. halfway and might give it 90 degrees so we can see the split and now So every shot that you put into a, into your timeline now, you should be able to promote to the movie clip, movie st movie clip editor. Right. Put in your original shot, promote it to the movie clip ed movie clip editor for tracking. Track some points on there. Turn on the 2D stabilization. Turn down location influence because you don't want that. Uh, you could turn up whatever the scale factor is. You will, of course, lose resolution because it's got to zoom in to crop the edges off. Uh, you can do two tracks and get stabilization rotation. And go back to your editor and uh, re-add a clip. Not, the, not a movie, but a clip. And choose the one that you were using and match it on top. Uh, the only thing I haven't considered so far is how to trim them effectively so you don't have to uh, experience the entire duration of a clip in the movie, uh, in the clip editor, sorry. Anyway, that's been another uh, three-point edit tutorial. I hope that uh, uh, that was fairly clear. If there's any problems, just uh, leave me a comment and uh, I'll try and sort it out. Thanks very much for watching.